All right, flu season is upon us, and just like last year, we are bracing for a triple demic of COVID, RSV, and the flu. The only difference is this year, we have updated vaccines for each of them. In New York City Health Commissioner, Dr. Ashwin Vassan here to administer the updated COVID vaccine and flu shots to us this morning. But before we do that, we do want to talk about some of the big key issues impacting health amongst New Yorkers. I did change so we can get the flu shot. Uh, good to see you here. Thanks for having me. Let's talk first and foremost uh, about the, the fentanyl issue in New York, right? Last time you were here, we, we touched upon this and how this kind of inspection process would change looking at some of these daycare facilities. Now, your office is involved in that. What's the latest? Well, you know, I issued a commissioner's advisory on the fentanyl crisis yeah. on overdoses because the data is is discouraging on one level, right? You know, we're losing a, lot, a New Yorker every less than every three hours. And the tragedy that happened in the daycare with Nicholas Dominici really shocked all of us. And mm -hmm. it shocked us into reflection and action and really thinking about, you know, leaving no stone unturned. You yeah. know, our teams go into thousands of daycares right. every single day and they look for, they look everywhere and they look for anything yeah. that could possibly um, threaten the well-being of our right. kids. But there are things that are seen and then there are things that are unseen. Okay. And that's what we're starting to unpack with our partners at the state through our own processes. What else can we do? Yeah. Right. I mean, the fentanyl, the overdose deaths, are rising. Are the injection sites in the city helping? Well, we certainly need more of them, right? If you look at the data, who's dying most frequently? It's black men 55 and older. Uh -huh. Why is that? Why are people dying later in life? Because it's generally the cumulative effect of long-term substance use. Mm. And so if you think of it as like years or decades of impact on your health, putting you at higher risk, then obviously Taking that use, bringing it indoors, bringing it into safety, yeah. and then connecting people into opportunities for treatment and recovery and yeah. to stop using is needed. So we need many more of these harm reduction hubs uh, with overdose prevention centers inside of them. Uh, but briefly, before we get to the COVID shot and the COVID vaccine and what exactly this all means for the city, I want to talk about the 988, 988 hotline. It was a new campaign really to raise awareness. It's a big topic for so many mental health. It's a huge topic. And yesterday was World Mental Health Day. We launched a major campaign to publicize 988. Our goal is to see 988 in the months and years to come be as ubiquitous and trusted as 911. And in New York, it's a federal hotline, right? It was launched by the Biden-Harris yeah. administration uh, a year ago. But we want New York to be an exemplar for the nation. And we're building off of our infrastructure that we've built with NYC Well mm -hmm. and really improving it so that people know when they dial those three digits, 988, they're going to get the help they need, okay. when they need it, where they need it. That's Sounds great. Right. All right, well, now. Okay, I'm While you're here. Yeah. So the new vaccines, this is not a booster shot. This is a brand new COVID vaccine shot, correct? This is an updated COVID-19 mm -hmm. vaccine, just as we update our flu shot every year, just as we update lots of things annually. Um, this is our annual shot. And you're going to give both of them to us, and that is okay to do. It's and completely it, okay. okay. And I did the same just yeah. last week. Okay. I had no side effects. I'm so proud of both of you for doing it yeah, together. Yes. So I'm eager to do get, it with you while today. While you're getting all here, talk about COVID cases overall. Go ahead. Keep going. Yep, I'm going to keep going. COVID, COVID you know, look, we, we actually have seen a little bit of a flattening after that steady, small increase. Again, yeah. those increases are nothing like previous summers, yeah. we expect to see cases increase into the winter as they okay. would during viral season. But as you said in the run-up, um, we have vaccines for all three of the major respiratory viruses mm -hmm. this year for the first time. We're better prepared than ever. And so, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we can make, th make it through. So, Hazel, you're going to go first? Yes, sir. Okay. Hand. We're going to do a I'm double good. shot here. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. So first we have. Is it called the Flooster? The flu we can we can if you want to make a new moniker, <laughs> we can do that. This is your COVID shot first. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. You guys can keep talking. Yeah. So no. So Never want dead air. Yeah. No. No. It's good. It's important to do both, and we were happy to do this on air to kind of get the word out to Thank folks you. to get it. And so are you keep doing a campaign there. around the city to let people know the shots available now and. Absolutely, yeah. So, you know, part of the campaign is doing exactly what we're doing yeah. here today, which is vaccinating high-profile folks and yeah. getting the word out. I vaccinated the mayor yep. yesterday, so Saw this it. is your flu shot, Hazel. Let okay. me take that. Okay. And, and uh, the COVID shot is widely available, even for kids. 
Okay, let's keep a little pressure there. Right, the COVID shot is widely available for everyone six yeah. months and older. Mm -hmm. um, Vaccinefinder.nyc.gov. Okay, you can find a sure. pharmacy. You can find a primary care physician. Just let me get you a Band-Aid or two. Who needs a Band-Aid? Who needs no, a Band-Aid? <laughs> I'm just okay, kidding. Okay, you're good. Yeah. There's one here. Let me get you another one. Yes, yeah, right. so that's what we were wondering if, you know, kids... And adults, everybody widely available. This might be record time, folks. Look at this, huh? We're moving fast. This is live television. All right. All right. Excellent. So let me get new gloves on. <laughs> now, new do gloves. you need me to hold your hand? <laughs> 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 hold on. I just do a few push ups to get the bicep. Well, you know, you know the luck. best thing I learned in medical school is do it while people are talking. Yeah, of course. Because yeah. you just really don't feel it. Yeah. If you, if you have people looking at it and okay. staring at it. That's when First people up. get nervous. If okay. there are any side effects, all right, all right. what Put are some of the away. side effects that we could... <laughs> Put that the we, away. <laughs> what are some of the side effects that we might experience? You know, at most, a little injection site soreness and, okay. and tenderness for the next day or so. Mm -hmm. um, easily treated with some Tylenol or ibuprofen. Okay. Sometimes people have a little bit of um, flushing or increased temperature. Right. Right, okay. and so again, Tylenol yep. does a great job. Tylenol or Advil does a great job. So a little pressure there. Yep. So that's your COVID vaccine. Very good. Okay. Um, and do you, you enjoy doing this? Do I enjoy? <laughs> it? Yeah, I love. Look, I'm keeping kind people safe. Question. This vaccine is incredible. These vaccines yeah. are incredible. They really do save lives. Yeah. You know, everyone should be getting vaccinated, especially. I'm, I'm, my back's to the camera. Not great. No, it's okay. um, <laughs> Everyone should be getting vaccinated, and especially if you're 65 and older. But if people want to space it out a week or two in between, they can there's do that absolutely as well, no. Right? If you, if you feel more comfortable doing it, the best vaccine is the one you get. Yes. Right. And the best vaccine is when you get it. Right. And again, so, it's available for children as well right now, right? It's available for six months and over. Okay. You guys are done. Dr. We got Boston, pins thanks. for both of you. <laughs> Thank you. I got my food. There we vaccine. go. That was really quite. Quite efficient. Look yeah. at that. Thank you One, so two, much. three, easy as pie. Easy as pie. We, we appreciate want to thank my team as well for setting everything yes. up. Thank you, team. It's like magic. Thank yeah. you for being here. I know it's not. It's, it's not. Yeah. Thanks uh, to the health department. Yeah. All right. Good. Very good. I feel good. Appreciate you. Yeah. yeah feel we better. Appreciate you. Call me if you have any issues. I will. We will. We'll we will. be calling you. We will. Okay. Thanks again. <laughs> Thanks. All right. We'll be right back. Take care.